Welcome back, everyone. The Emerging Growth Conference welcomes back Quantum Computing Inc. for its first update call. Quantum Computing Inc., or QCI, is listed on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol QUBT. As the world is hitting the limits of classical computing power, Quantum solves that problem and is an upcoming game-changing technology. Our next speaker is selling quantum products today that will dramatically enhance computing power from significantly boosting AI to killer applications for cybersecurity. Bob Liskowski is the co-founder and CEO of QCI. He was appointed by President George W. Bush as the first U.S. Assistant Secretary for Infrastructure Protection upon the launch of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. He also served as a president of Implant Sciences Corporation, a manufacturer of explosive trace detection equipment that was acquired by L3 Communications was the Global Director of Information Assurance at the Coca-Cola Company and Vice President of the Law Enforcement Division of Orion Scientific Systems. Thank you, Bob, for joining us today to share this update on QCI's progress over the past month. How are you doing today? Thank you. I'm doing just fine, Anna. And I, uh, as I mentioned, I'm in an airport, so I apologize for any background, but uh, it's great to be able to talk about an update. Um, I realize it's only been four weeks since we last did this, and uh, but we've done a lot in the past four weeks that I think hopefully uh, everybody will get a good sense of today. So I'm going to I'm going to run through these slides. Of course, we have our forward-looking statements. Um, you all know who we are. That's why we're back. But I'll tell you just to, just to refresh, we we are going to be the quantum company in the marketplace today. Our mission is to bring quantum technologies to the world. We really are focused on bringing solutions that are going to make a big difference in the world, make a change in the world, and have re the revolutionary impact that quantum is expected to have. That's what our mission is. That's what we're going to do. We have core and proprietary technology, nanophotonic quantum computing technology, which arguably is probably the, some of the best in the marketplace. The benefits of our methodologies, as we've talked about previously, size, weight, uh, cost, computational capability, those are the things we're going to be talking about today. So when we... Uh, Talk about uh, the highlights over the past four weeks. We have done a significant amount, but one of the things I want to mention first when we talk about these highlights is the fact that you know we have um, we've really controlled our costs. We've we've done a significant amount in terms of um, paying down our debt over the past uh, 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 several uh, months. Um, and as you see here, uh, we've announced our full time our first uh, sales. Uh, within our um, our two of our hard, five hardware platforms, uh, we finalized our strategic roadmap for 2024. We've established our chip facility in Tempe, Arizona, and we're about to launch not just our products, but a, a uh, highly articulated marketing campaign to go along with that. Um, I want to take a moment, though, to go back on that again. You know, well, you talked about we paid down our debt over 80 percent over the past nine months no longer have long-term debt. Uh, we have $3.3 .3 million in uh, raising, and we're still exercising tight financial controls. On average, last quarter, I've held steady over the past several quarters. Um, and we are uh, doing that while we're both decreasing our debt, uh, expanding our business development efforts, rolling out our technology, and engaging in a new marketing campaign. So we're being very conscious of how we spend our money, not to mention the fact that we're, like I mentioned, we're, we're about to st establish our lithium niobate uh, fabrication plant in Tempe, Arizona. Uh, last time we spoke, we had, uh, we announced our quantum computing plan, what we've been doing with our uh, Dirac One, and the fact that we have a machine that which is an on-premises capability that does 11,000 qubits uh, very hard problems, optimization problems. But since we've talked last, we've not just did that, but we launched our reservoir, quant uh, reservoir computer, which we're selling in the marketplace, which we've actually established some sales for over the past quarter. Um, that is uh, reservoir computing neural networking for AI at the edge. Similarly, we are launching our cybersecurity products. We, of course, launched our, our quantum random number generator, and we're getting very seriously focused on the uh, cybersecurity market, particularly with our quantum authentication. 
And then, we, of course, we have our uh, yet to roll out our quantum sensing, which we, we're focusing on development for uh, NASA contracts, as, you've talk, as we've talked about, using our LIDAR capability to do snow depth analysis. And last, uh, back in October, we also demonstrated our capability to do uh, sensing for mine detection. And then we have our quantum imaging, which we talked about, which is the ability for us to look through soft tissue to identify uh, tumors uh, without with, with using low power. So imagine mammograms uh, using low power rather than high power radiation to detect the tumor. So lots going on here. Uh, when we spoke last and I talked about the fab, this is the uh, first photograph we're releasing of our fab facility down in Tempe, Arizona. Uh, we expect that We'll be going into uh, production in mid-year of 2024, our own lithium niobate fat, um, chips, and which will be actually selling in the end of 2024 and expanding that into 2025. These chips are not just uh, for uh, consumer sale, but these are going to be powering our own capabilities, as we've talked about. These are very core to our uh, entropy quantum computer and uh, the rest of our, our nanophotonic technologies. But the opportunity here is a revenue opportunity to sell these same chips uh, in the marketplace for which we believe the lithium niobate is going to have a substantial impact in 2025. So as you can see, we've accomplished a great deal of time, a great deal over the past uh, four weeks. We talk about the milestones that we've achieved um, in terms of expanded growth, uh, launching our hardware, building out our chip facility, continually adding um, to the uh, technology team, making sure we're efficiently using our resources appropriately. Um, we look at 2023 as our year of commercialization, converting our, our, our technology into actual commercial products and launching those products. We look at 2024 as the opportunity to generate real material revenue for the company. And that's what the, the pivot point for us is going to be. We're gonna continue to develop our products. Remember, this is one of the first companies that's actually got quantum computer technology that's capable of being on premise and solving real business problems today. We're gonna to continue down that path as we uh, move through, the, uh, uh, through 2024. And as we talk about our summary highlights here, the, uh, you'll see this in the background, pardon me for the interruption here. Um, we have a large scale addressable market. Uh, we are, arguably the best in class capability in the marketplace today. Uh, we have a significant vision approach toward the market. Being a computing company, we, QCI is on the path to becoming the quantum company. We have multiple revenue opportunities across the five platforms that we have. We've been implementing our sales capability and we have very defensible barriers to entry in this marketplace. Nanophotonics is just as complicated in, ter in terms of a physics and, and technology um, capability as the uh, superconducting ion and ion trap capabilities. These nanophotonics, though it's very scalable, requires a high degree of uh, uh, competency in photonics and optics. And we're fortunate to have the great team. So, Anna, I'm going to be able to pass this over to you now so we can talk through some of the questions. Great job, Bob. Yes. Um, first of all, great news on the first sales of the reservoir computer, the quantum random number generator. I understand in general, the adoption <clears throat> of quantum has a hurdle. End users has a con have a concern of implementation given the magnitude of the computing shift. So how simple is installation and how easy is the user interface? Uh, is, it, is it simple? Are these devices easy to use? So um, simplicity is really dependent upon, you know, some of the, uh, the ways you want to use it. But and our methodology integrates um, with, a, you know, a, an existing entity's current um, information architecture. So with the case of the, of the quantum, of the reservoir computer, the QMG, these, these are edge devices that can easily plug into the back of a classic computer. These are, there's, we've, we've been developed these to be able to be swiftly configured, um, to be able to be utilized with, with, you know, with a classical computer. Uh, it uses an ethernet interface for efficient communication, data, data ingestion, so data transfer. Uh, its API interface is very intuitive and it's supported by numerous examples for de developer use. So we're very focused on 
end user capability of being able to adopt these capabilities, these technologies um, into their existing architecture. And should we be expecting to hear an aggressive marketing campaign launched around these two products soon, given that the first sales have arrived? Yes, absolutely. So QCI has built this reputation on not over developing expectations, but over delivering on its promises with regard to the technologies. So the technologies that we've developed here are clearly um, world-class capabilities. The ability to do reservoir computing with a, with a device at the edge is very novel, uh, I would call unique. Um, similarly, our ability to develop these other technologies, quantum computing capabilities, the Dirac machine, uh, we have a Dirac 3, which is going to be even doing more complex problems, all merit really standing from the mountaintop and shouting as, hard, as, as loud as we can about the benefit of these technologies. We're going to have a marketing campaign that correlates to that. We want to get, we, Quantum Computing Inc. is probably the best little technology company that nobody's ever heard of. This is one of the, the uphill battles we have. As I mentioned, one of the things we, one of the reasons we did that def definitively in the beginning was because we didn't want to overpromise. There's been enough hype in the uh, marketplace that rather than compete with the hype, we just wanted to be able to prove the solutions. Now that we've been able to prove the solutions, we want to very aggressively get out in the marketplace and start telling the story. We are one of the first, if not the only, on-premises quantum computing capabilities available in the marketplace today. If you wrote me a check today, I would deliver that machine to you in about 12 weeks, put it on-premises. Makes sense. Um, Bob, given your multiple product launches simultaneous with your establishing a quantum chip foundry in Arizona, help us understand how you plan to pay for operations, marketing equipment, like you mentioned, and the plant while you await profitability. Yeah, so it's a great question, right? Mm -hmm. And we have a very good financial controls and we're very careful about how we spend our money in the marketplace. Um, you know, our break even, unlike some mm -hmm. of our competition, it, although we have significant investment in this company, our break even should be somewhere around $50 million annually. So, you know, there's a lot of uh, government money being um, allocated towards some of the research opportunities we have and the chip development in particular. So we're very aggressively going after these funding opportunities. We have our ATM. We have the ability for us to uh, raise money in the capital markets. But candidly, we expect that doing it the old fashioned way, actually selling products in the marketplace, generating the revenue, this is the year that we're going to be doing that. Well, congratulations, Bob. Thank you for joining us, even from the airport. Great update. We appreciate your time. Thank and we you. look forward to following along uh, this, this, this journey in 2024. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Okay, everyone stay with us. We'll be right back.